Hello and welcome everyone. Today I will discuss about how you can apply row level security using Spectrum. So we come across scenarios where you want to restrict data with respect to users privileges. For this tutorial, I have taken transitional data and users data. And now what we are going to do, we are trying to combine these two tables and then put user level restrictions on them, right? So to do that, first we'll see what the data looks like. I have my sales data, which is which has uh, different uh, details for distributors, country, city, region, and model and everything, right? These are the transactional details uh, of certain sales information. Then I have user relations table, which has a state as a column, but which has uh, different cities listed in Excel. The point of uh, keeping city over here and state over here is you should be knowing that you can apply these uh, joining condition irrespective of the column's name, right? Here I have my user details as well. Uh, for user one, I have access to Uttar Pradesh, user two, I have access to Maharashtra. Again, user one have access to Shahadol and then user two has access to Shindra. There are certain states over here. There are certain cities, over here, right? Now, what these depict is my user one has access to Uttar Pradesh and Shahadul. My user two has access to Maharashtra and Chinwara, and similarly for my SFA. Now, I want my Spotify to restrict the data. As in, when user one access the data, he should see only uh, Shahadol or Uttar Pradesh, and similarly for user two or SFA. Now, if I uh, go to the data and see it, uh, it will probably show me all the details of all the different uh, columns and all the rows that are present in my data. Right? The first thing that you need to do while creating such uh, design is like you have to create information link for this. And to do that, you need to go to information designer first. Then you need to create a data source over here. You come. And you create a data source. When you set up a data source, you have to select which kind of a uh, what type of data source is it. Mine is SQL Server. You need to provide your username details. Right? I have already created this, so I am not going to uh, go in that again. You can see my uh, SQL Server details are already present. Right? I'll close this. I'll close this. Right? Then again. I'll come over here now uh, before like creating information link or before uh, like creating information model what you need to do is you need to first create uh, identify on which particular columns you are going to perform the join right you come over here click on new uh, select join right I'll go to SQL server I'll go to my spot by server my and my sales data here you'll see I have city. I'll scroll down. User relation I have states. Now my data will be joining on city from my sales data and state from my user relation. Right? I'll save this. I'll give the name. Save sales data user relation. I'll save my social media manager. I'll say save. Right? Then what you need to do is you need to go and check. Now you have under social media you have to uh, a joining condition. Now you go to my Spotify server. Now next step is you need to create information links for the table on which you are going to perform this join. So my first table is my sales data. I'll right click. I'll say create default information default information model. I'll say within social media. I'll say OK. Right. Then I'm going user relationship table and say create default information model and save it. save it. Once you have this uh, information links created, now what you need to do is you need to identify a parent table that is my sales data. Here, I'm. Uh, you need to provide a joining path, which we have created uh, the first thing after creating a data source, right? I'm selecting my uh, joining path. I'm adding it over here. My sales data is present. 
once now that you have added a joining condition one more thing that you need to add into your sales data information link is you need to add name of user from user relations now what will what this will do is for each record it will map the name of employee who is responsible for that particular area right i'll say save this and if i open this you'll see i'll have data i have or i'll have all data for all of the employees user 1 user 2 and sf admin and it will show me relationship as well for all these tables if i go and scroll to right you'll see you have details to each and every employee over here now we want to restrict this to only the username which is logged into my system for that what you need to do is you need to click on sql you need to scroll down as you have the name of your user what you need to do is you need to just add this condition say okay uh, and dollar uh, sorry percentage percentage current underscore user now what this parameter will do is it will pass the username of your user that is logged in uh, to your Spotfire environment. I'll say okay, let's I'll say save. And now if I open the data, you'll see I'll only have SF admins data present on my screen because the username that I have used for logging into the system is SF admin. If I change and log into user one or user two, it will show me details of username and user one and user two. Right? So uh, I'll just uh, it is opening the data source and once it opens we'll uh, I'll show you how you can uh, see the details okay so now that the data is open if you can see if I go to table let's scroll to right my only SF admin is there right no user one and user two is there so similarly uh, you can log in via user 1 and your all the details pertaining to user 1 will be present it is a simple technique that i mostly use to do a, a row level security into my data set right to reiterate the steps what you need to do is you need to click on data go to information designer create a data source right then once you create a data source you need to create a join based on the different columns of a two table once you create the join you need to create information links for your uh, tables and then once you have the information link created you need to add a joining condition and you need to add the name uh, of your user into your uh, transactional data set and that's it that's how simple it is to put row level security in spotify